You should be able to read the gauges to see if everything is normal if you plan to drive a car. It's crucial to understand how to read the dashboard's normal oil pressure among these gauges. However, when should you be concerned and what is normal engine oil pressure? We go over the fundamentals of engine oil pressure and its significance in this guide. We also examine the reasons behind excessively high or low oil pressure. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. What is normal engine oil pressure? The make and model of a car determines its oil pressure. The typical oil pressure ranges from 20 to 65 PSI per square inch. The service manual contains the specifications for your car. Anything that is not within the advised range is deemed harmful. The oil pressure in your motor indicates the amount of resistance the lubricant encounters as it passes through the different engine passageways. You can always see how high or low the oil pressure is because most cars have a gauge on the dashboard. The oil pressure may be higher than usual when you first start the car. The oil pressure reading should be normal after the engine has warmed up to its typical operating temperature. Typically, PSI, or pounds per square inch, is used to measure it. Why is normal oil pressure important? The amount of resistance the lubricant encounters while passing through the passages is indicated by the oil pressure rating. The oil pressure will be normal when everything is operating at its best. An issue is present whenever the oil pressure is either high or low. You can prevent more serious issues before they become too costly by knowing where it should be. In any case, the oil must reach every part of the engine. If not, the engine's components aren't receiving the necessary lubrication. Without lubrication, component damage is inevitable as friction rises. Main causes of high oil pressure. Dirty oil filter. The engine oil filter is in charge of preventing impurities from entering the combustion chamber. The filter should be replaced with each oil change because soot, dust, and other debris will accumulate on it over time. The system may experience higher pressure if the filter isn't changed because the oil won't be able to flow normally. The pressure increases as the resistance increases. Wrong oil viscosity. Each engine requires a different kind of oil with a specific viscosity rating. The oil faces greater resistance when passing through the passageways the more viscous it is. Pressure rises as a result of this increased viscosity. The system's observed pressure will change depending on whether you select a thicker or thinner oil. It's also important to remember that heat also affects viscosity because heated oil becomes thinner. Bad relief valve. If the pressure increases, the relief valve is necessary to give the oil an opportunity to escape. When the PSI hits a specific threshold, the valves will open. There is nowhere for the oil to escape if this relief valve stops working properly. This flaw will cause the pressure to increase until the motor is no longer safe. Blocked passages. After passing through the filter, the oil enters a number of passageways that lead to the engine. Lack of lubrication results from oil not being able to pass through any of the passages as effectively. The oil pressure will increase as the resistance increases. Due to the lack of lubrication, the obstruction may also result in engine failure. Diminished oil quality. Regular oil changes are necessary to prevent impurities from entering the lubricant. The oil's quality is compromised if these impurities accumulate. More resistance happens as a result of these impurities decreasing friction. The pressure may rise as a result of this resistance. Main causes of low oil pressure. Low oil level. The dipstick indicates the ideal level of oil in the system. Should this level fall too low, you may experience a decrease in engine pressure. Over time, the engine will burn some oil, so it's critical to regularly check the levels. Additionally, in the event of a leak, the oil level will drop until the pressure drops. Clogged filter. The topic of clogged filters was covered in the high pressure section, but it also belongs here. It is dependent upon the location of the oil pressure sensor. When the filter is clogged, it will display a high pressure if it is positioned before the filter. It will display low oil pressure when clogged if it is positioned after the filter. Pressure will decrease if the oil can no longer pass through the engine. Because of this, you should always change the filter along with the oil. Engine wear. Low oil pressure is typical if the engine is aging and beginning to wear. 
There are numerous moving parts inside the engine that require proper lubrication to prevent damage. Any part of the engine, including the bearings, could break down at any time, resulting in a sharp decline in oil pressure. Unfortunately, it is impossible to predict how long the engine will last before breaking down. However, by performing routine maintenance and addressing issues as soon as they arise, you can keep it in top shape. Failing oil pump. The oil pump is in charge of controlling pressure. Low pressure will undoubtedly occur if the pump starts to malfunction. Additionally, the temperature may increase and the engine may stall. In addition, without the oil required to run the engine, there won't be any power. Wrong viscosity. As we previously discussed, the viscosity of the oil has a significant impact on the pressure level. Because of the increased resistance, excessively thick oil may cause the oil pressure to rise. The pressure is affected in the opposite way by lower viscosity. For this reason, it's critical to abide by the guidelines established by the car maker. Is it better to have high or low oil pressure? High oil pressure is typically marginally better than low oil pressure, but neither of these circumstances is ideal and you don't want to deal with either. However, just as with a low oil pressure, an excessively high oil pressure can also cause engine damage. Therefore, if the oil pressure gauge indicates low or high, it is essential to have your car checked out. That's it for today's guide on engine oil pressure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Car Problems channel for more automotive tips and guides. Thanks for watching.